Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah a mas'ala came up a, a very nice issue came up uh, which was something I had been thinking about for some time and the issue was if you want to do good deeds on behalf of someone who is deceased what deeds can you do? So meaning if someone is passed on from amongst the Muslims who you would like to do something good on their behalf that they will receive reward from, then what can you do? And Sheikh Abdulaziz al-Rajihi, Hafidhullahu Ta'ala, one of our scholars in Riyadh, one of the major scholars there, he mentions that the most correct view and that which was, is supported by evidence from the book and the sunnah is that four deeds can help the one who's deceased. He said the first thing or one of them, one of those uh, deeds that can help the deceased is dua, of course, supplicating for them. Another deed which can help the deceased is sadaqa is giving charity on their behalf. And the third deed is Hajj or Umrah. And then the fourth being the other. So meaning Hajj and Umrah. Those are separate deeds. He said those are the deeds which are mentioned in the Nasus. And that's why he said that that is the most correct view because those are deeds that we have evidence uh, from the son of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in which he... Uh, allowed or said, uh, you know, make hajj on behalf of so-and-so, make hajj on behalf of yourself, and then on shubramata, uh, shubram. Uh, so in a hadith, the Prophet alayhi salatu salam mentioned uh, uh, that to, to someone who was asking about making uh, hajj on behalf of someone else, and the Prophet alayhi salatu salam said, first, you know, make hajj on behalf of yourself and then upon and then for on behalf of that person who is deceased. Meaning that you need to do your wajib first, then you uh, can do that recommended deed, that mustahab deed for this other uh, individual. And so that is some of the evidence. Another very important piece of evidence from the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the hadith of the Messenger of Allah alayhi salatu wasalam, in which he said, that when a person dies, uh, his deeds cease except three. He said, A sadaqa jariya, wa ilm yuntafa bi, wa waladin salihan yad'uluhu, ruahu Muslim. In this hadith in Sahih Muslim, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam said that a person's deeds cease except for in three situations. He said the first is sadaqa jariya, meaning the continuous charity. The second is knowledge that the people benefit from, or that is benefited from. And the third is a righteous child which supplicates on his or her behalf. And when we look at what uh, Sheikh Abdulaziz al-Raji said, we'll find that uh, some of those uh, right there, two of those categories right inside that hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that is first, as the Prophet Alaihi Salatu Wasallam said, the Sadaqa Jariya. And that is the continuous charity. So that means maybe you build a well and then people benefit from, from that even after you die. It's a continuous uh, charity until that water, that well dries up. Uh, uh, another way that could be a continuous charity that you build some uh, masjid or you build a uh, a building that you have as a trust and after you die and people uh, still continue to benefit from that. So that is, those are some forms of sadaqa jariya, the continuous charity. The uh, other category the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam mentioned was al-ilm uh, yutafabi knowledge that the people benefit from. So, uh, in the hadith, the some of the knowledge and some of the examples that we can see in real time of people who benefit from 
uh, the knowledge of those who are deceased. For example, if we look at now, uh, a perfect example is now there are so many new, new books coming out from Sheikh Bono Thaymin that were not printed in his time. They were lectures. They're recorded. So he has a muessasa. He has an or, uh, there's an organization on behalf of Bino Thaymin, and every year they're coming out with new pieces of gold and diamonds. And what I mean is new gems of El that were formerly only in cassette form that maybe someone might not have heard of. Maybe someone might not have listened, but now they're in book form. I, I'm in front of me right now. I'm looking at the Ta'liq al-Sahih Muslim. These are the uh, Sheikh Ben Uthaymin's commentary of Sahih Muslim. And that is 10 volumes. Can you imagine? That's just one book. 10 volumes going to that Imam's credit and that we will benefit from. Bi'idnillah, I will teach from this book and others will listen and they will benefit and people will continue to benefit, 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 benefit and this great Imam, it will go to his credit and he will receive reward and he receives reward while he is in his grave. Bi'idnillah ta'ala. Uh, many other examples, Imam Bukhari, Imam Muslim, all the A'imba to Hadith, here we have Tafsir Imam Sa'di on my left. We have uh, so many books. All these books here are books of the ulama, uh, of the sunnah. And most of these uh, authors are, are deceased. And so when we teach and when we read and when we benefit and when we learn from and benefit from their qawaid and usul, then this is knowledge that they benefit from. So even... And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best, a way that we get khayrain is in the, that you get two forms of khayr. Is for example, in the situation of Bin Uthimi, now Bin Baz also, he has a muassasa, and they're pumping out his books and stuff, things that we didn't have access, all kind of new shurahat that you could only get in tape form prior. And even for a lot of us, it's very difficult to understand the quality was poor, and the Imam was very old and it was very difficult to understand some of his speech. Now it's in book form. So now it's like whole new gold. We already know the benefit he gave to the Ummah when he was alive. Now look at now that he's deceased, how much more benefit is continuing. And so what uh, when you look at it, that's a gem bain al khayrain. That's a, 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 a com that's two forms of good being compiled together. And what I mean is that it's a sadaqa jariya because now you have a, an organization that spends their time going through the books, I mean, going through the lectures and tapes, those old tapes of these imams and transcribing them and editing them and coming out with beautiful uh, uh, text. Uh, that is, and producing knowledge. So this is knowledge that, that, that those imams benefit, that the people benefit from, and that those imams get reward from. On top of that, this is a sadaqa jariya because it's also a continuous charity that the people who fund those organizations, that they get reward for that. So this is, you know, it's so much khair from different angles. And then in the in the next uh, category, the Messenger of Allah, alayhi salatu wasalam, mentioned after the ilm yun tafa'abi, he mentioned a waladin, uh, a waladin salihan yad'uluhu. Uh, and this is a righteous child that supplicates on his or her behalf. So, that uh, those who are blessed with righteous children and their children supplicate on their behalf when they die. So please supplicate for your parents often and be righteous and supplicate often. And... Uh, we we see that that the, that is something that they have left behind. That is a continuous good deed on their behalf because their children are supplicating. Oh Allah, please forgive my parents. Oh Allah, please have mercy on my parents. Oh Allah, please enter my parents to Jannah to Firdaus. Oh Allah, you know, bless them with the pleasures of the hereafter. And all of these beautiful supplications uh, that they are benefiting from because they had righteous child who remember righteous children who remembered them and had the enough enough uh, compunction to supplicate on their behalf. This is an immense uh, khair. And how does this benefit our discussion? This benefits our discussion because we see that the dua is included and the, uh, uh, you know, supplicating on, on behalf of the, the deceased and also the, can, the charity that you can give sadaqah 
on behalf of uh, the sea. So if you want to feed one poor person or have iftar tonight, you can do that. And someone who died from amongst the Muslims can gain reward for that. And no doubt you for initiating that will receive reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala too. So there's no nuks in the ajr. There's no shortcomings in reward. There's enough reward for everybody from Allah azza wa jal. So this is very important to remember that. So supplicate for the deceased. If you can make hajj and umrah for them on their behalf. If you can uh, uh, give sadaqah, give charity. And that's probably one of the easiest things. The easiest thing is to supplicate for them. And also uh, give charity on their behalf. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.